All right, guys, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about some horror topics. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise reportedly is going to get a reboot. That is what I'm reading. That is what the rumors is. It's not much of a rumor. It's more of a leak. And if it's true, I'm cool with it. So let's talk about what is pretty much being talked about. So we all know that we had the last Texas Chainsaw Massacre that came out in 2020 from Fede Alvarez. That was on Netflix. And me personally, I actually enjoyed it. The more I watch it, the more I just get like those woke people you know just they get so offended it's like ah i just wish they all died dude and i got most of that correct so but besides that i absolutely love the movie i love the idea of just of how pretty much led the phase you know what happened in the original movie went from that to this and everything just kind of nothing happened i like that because it kind of just takes away all the questions from two three and four and all the reboots and 3D and Leatherface is just gets confusing. So I like how they did the Halloween effect of just the original and this. It was really simple, easy. But now they're saying that they're not going to follow up on that sequel because on the end of that movie, you had a post credit of him going home to the original house, the original movie, which I absolutely loved. I was like, this is the best part of the movie was I want to see the sequel for this. And it looks like we're not getting it. It looks like we're getting a reboot. And this is all coming from Sony because Sony owns the rights. And they're saying that this next movie, the next reboot, is going to be a theatrical release. And it's called Texas Chainsaw Legacy. Interesting. Well, the one thing that it's like, really, are we going to do this again? Is they're going to be based off the original movie from the 1974. Again, because you got to think about, we had the original timeline of the sequel, the third movie, and the fourth movie. They were all from the original. And then, of course, we had the reboot and the prequel of the reboot. That's irrelevant. But then we had the 3D the Texas Chainsaw 3D, which was pretty much, you know, the original movie and then the 3D. That movie was fun. It's fun to watch, but it's complete garbage at the end of the day. <clears throat> Next, like I said, we had the Netflix, the 2022 movie. That was also a direct sequel from the original movie. So now that's three different timelines coming off the original movie. And also we had the movie called Leatherface which was a prequel to the original. So already we have four movies, four different timelines with the original movie being the starting point or the end point, the main focus. So they're going back to that idea again. So this is gonna be the fifth timeline that they're gonna have the original movie. And then this new movie is going to be either before or after, most likely after. Because what the plot is, you have this Sawyer family with their, you know, property. It's poor, it's run down. And right next to it is going to be a rich suburbia land full of rich people. So imagine you have rich, poor, and then that is going to be the line. And imagine you got all these rich, poor kids just want to, you know, make their way over the solar family to take a little peek over. And that's where you get the solar family and Leatherface. So that is the premise of the reboot. I'm totally cool with it. I absolutely love that idea. And... It sucks that we're not going to get a sequel to the Netflix movie, but if this is the route we're going to go, I'm down for that. I really am because it sounds really fun and nothing better than just killing some rich, poor old kids, you know, with Leatherface. 